Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope that you're all doing great. So this is your daily reading for Monday, the 22nd of March. Let's just jump right in and see what messages uh, do you have from Spirit. If it is a little noisy throughout the reading, I just wanna apologize in advance you guys because I have my window open. The weather is so nice today. So I'm just hoping that like it's not too loud for you guys. Okay, and if you are new here, thank you so much for clicking on the video. My name is Lynn and this is Passion and Heart Tarot. And just for everyone returning, I hope that you guys have a beautiful day. I send you all so much love and light. Let's jump right in and see what is coming your way for Monday. Okay, before I begin, I just want to take a moment to finish your reading and invite the white light, the Holy Spirit. Okay, you guys, I think we'll start with the water signs today and we will start with Pisces energy. Okay, Pisces, let's take a look and see how is your day looking? What energy is coming your way? What are your messages from spirit? So there's really strong Sagittarius and Leo energy coming through. I wonder if you guys are dealing with a Sagittarius or a Leo because that energy is here. I see you guys in this place today where you're just, um, I feel like you're going to be in a very balanced place emotionally and um, even with the decisions that you make. I see where you guys are in this place of like um, wanting to go slow and steady. You have um, like certain goals on your mind today and you're going to get them accomplished. That's what I can see. I just see you in this energy of like there's just like a calmness that's over you guys today. A calmness yet a focus at the same time. So that certainly is very positive. I, you know what's funny? Because when I look at the energy for work, seeing this um Sagittarius' this energy come in reverse, I feel like you guys, um, I feel like you guys are like really focused and like moving steadily like at like a steady pace but then the energy at work is like almost someone is i feel like you might run into people who are lazy you might run into people who are not as focused as you today um it's i just think it's really important that you don't compare yourself to anyone or like you don't compare the pace at which you work or how much you get accomplished in a day as opposed to what someone else does i just feel like i should tell you guys that from spirit because there's this energy of um not letting your like pride get the best of you today and when i see i feel like this might be irritating to some of you maybe feeling like you're doing more work than the other person is doing it's just like i don't think you guys are are in the energy of lazy i feel like you're in the energy of focused balanced and even though you do things kind of like slowly there's like pure intent behind it and i see you getting done what you need to get done but there's just this energy of um feeling like someone is not as motivated as the other one today so i do wonder if that's going to be the vibe of other people at work and i feel like it's something that might um be irritating to you so that's what i'm saying i'm um, just trying to focus on yourself and what you're doing and if you can help it try not to pay too much attention to what others are doing around you at work today okay that's important when it uh you know what's funny i also see this energy of like patience from your person Okay, so if you guys are in this place today where you just feel like you're being a bit um, guarded, because I see that this is your energy when it comes to love today. I see, I see you just, I feel like some of you might be more stubborn than the others because it's just the energy slow moving. It's someone who's like not going to do something that they don't want to do. They're going to do it at their own pace. And that comes in for your love life as well. Try not to let your heart be too hardened today when it comes to something or, or someone. And also try not to let your pride get the best of you. Try not to let your pride make decisions for you today, Pisces, because um, I just see where there's a possibility for some of you to um, be more hardened with someone than you normally would. 
trying to protect yourself for whatever reason. Maybe there's there's a good reason why you feel this way. And I certainly get that. And when it comes to your person's energy, I see them in the place of just kind of waiting, still believing that everything's going to smooth out because they I think they believe in this more than you today. Maybe you're just like not in the mood. They believe in it more than you. And they're in this place of um like holding on and trying to uh, like fill in the missing pieces. They're trying to create balance and they're doing it um from a very gentle and, and patient place. So that is where, what I can see for you guys today. I wonder if this carries over into your love life as, as well of like wanting to take baby steps because that's what I see you doing all day. Just being in this energy of taking uh, baby steps. But at the same time, don't let your pride get the best of you today. Okay, Pisces, that is what I can see coming through for you all for the 22nd. I hope that you guys have a beautiful day. Let's go into uh, Scorpio's energy. We'll continue with the water signs and see what is going on. What is happening for Scorpio today? So this is for Monday, March 22nd. You know, I kind of see you guys uh, throughout the day kind of get into this energy where you feel kind of bummed out about something. I, I feel like it's going to be really important for you today, Scorpio, to make sure that if your mind starts to wander to a place where you're thinking about what's lacking or you're thinking about something that's negative, even recalling memories from the past about, you know, where you weren't successful or if someone chose... um you know, it's like this energy of choosing other things over you. So if you start to think about instances in your life where that happened, it's very important that you try to work yourself out of that energy. Because if you don't, I feel like you run the risk of um, kind of being stuck in that energy all day. So what Spirit is showing me is it's important for you guys to uh, avoid looking at the past today. You want to look and, and be in the moment. Because if you start to look back at the past, I feel like there's something that's going to like keep you in an energy where you just feel stuck today. Okay, um, if you notice that certain things are taking longer than you'd like, try to uh, move on to the next thing and save that task for later, whatever that is. Because I just feel like there's a possibility for you guys today to like... um. You get so stuck on something and then you kind of lose time because you I feel like um time might get away from you today if you don't uh keep your energy balanced. Okay? And and really your warning today from spirit is to avoid looking uh avoid comparing, especially if you're comparing yourself to someone else or comparing what you have to what someone else has or comparing your uh present to the past. Just try to be in the present today, okay? Um, your energy at work and your career, I see you guys being in a very creative place today. So you're going to have, I see your mind really racing. A lot of thoughts, maybe focusing on the things that you need to get done. But I feel like work is going to be positive for you. I feel like it's going to be really energetic for you guys. And if you do find that like you have all of these ideas and thoughts and creativity that's coming to you, because you could be thinking about things outside of work, even though you're at work. Uh, maybe consider just like jotting some things down so you don't forget it. Because I feel like when you have all these thoughts on your mind, it can be really easy for you guys to kind of lose your place where you were. Okay, so it, it's super, super important that you work yourself out of this mood that I can see that some of you might be in. And how you can do that is um, being in the moment, focusing on what you uh, have to be grateful for, focusing on really everything that's going good, not what, not little things that might annoy you. Um, your love life. Are you guys holding back from someone sexually today? I do wonder that because I see this energy of maybe you're just not in the mood to like give of yourself to someone today because this 
Ace of Wands in reverse, to me that represents like a, like a spark is out. It kind of represents impotency, just not having that urge. And I see that that's where you guys are today. I wonder if, it, you know, why do you feel that way? I know that it makes your person, uh, it, it kind of tears your person up. I wonder if they did something that they should feel guilty about because i wonder if you're holding back to try to make them see something try to get them to realize something others of you it could even be to try to punish this person let me tell you it's working because the nine of swords it lets me know that they probably didn't sleep really good last night because they have a lot on their mind both of you actually have a lot on your mind today so what I'm saying, Scorpio, is um to try and not let yourself be too stuck on certain things, whether it's thoughts, whether it's a task, whatever, whatever that is. If you can move on to the next thing, do it. Or if you can find something to take your mind off of whatever it is that's keeping you stuck, you definitely should. Because it this energy doesn't have to stick with you the whole day. That's what I'm telling you. But you run the risk of it sticking with you if you don't focus on the present more okay scorpio that is what i can see coming through for you guys today for monday i do hope that you have a beautiful day i send you all much love and light let's go into cancer's energy all right cancer what is going on for you guys let's take a look at your day monday the 22nd Cancer, sorry about the noise of you here, like on that ambulance outside. My windows are open because it's so nice, but then again, it's so noisy where I live at the same time. So if you do hear noise, I do apologize. So um, I I see where you're taking charge in your love life today. Um, really taking charge of how you look at things, how you look at yourself and how you feel. I see that you're in this place of feeling like um, you have stability. I think you've been able to like find balance with someone or it's even like the balance within yourself. I see you like at like very even keel today when it comes to your love life. And that's a beautiful thing. I feel like being in that energy actually brings a lot of relief to your person too. Maybe you guys discussed something over the weekend. Maybe you found, um, maybe you renewed your bond with each other somehow, found balance somehow. It might have been a good weekend for you guys because I can see where your person's been going through a lot lately. I wonder if they've been sleeping as good as they normally do because I can just see where they've had a lot of thoughts and, and worry on their mind. Could be um, having to do with other things in their life. But the beautiful thing is, is I, I feel like they're in a much more like steady and calm place as well. So I feel like the two of you have resolved something. That's important to, to know. Or if you if, if you haven't, I see that energy here for today. So it's like on the verge of resolving, on the verge of finding balance. So your love life looks like it's in a really positive place today. Um, I wonder why you're in this energy. Like this is your overall energy, your vibe for the day. Is there something that's on your mind? Is there someone that you miss? Is there something in your life that you feel is missing? Because I see where you're in this uh, kind of reflective energy. You're thinking and you're thinking about... Um, some of you are in a lonely place. Maybe some of you are missing someone today. Because I see that energy, the five of pentacles is like someone who feels like they're an outsider. They really don't feel like they fully found their place or where they belong. And it's just like a longing and, and a wanting to find that place. So you guys might go through some emotion today where, you know, from time to time, maybe you, you are thinking about the future. You are thinking about the present and, and what you want. 
because I see that energy here. And if there is someone that you do miss, maybe it's a good day to reach out to them, to talk to them. I think it's really important because I see this as your warning from spirit, the nine of cups in reverse. See, the nine of cups, I feel like this energy is um someone who really, really needs a lot of attention. They do. Um, I think it's part of their love language. But then again, I, I also feel like it's the energy of someone who can be a bit a bit greedy. So to see the energy come in reverse as your warning from spirit, I think that it's it's really important that you focus on um things maybe that aren't materialistic today, maybe focus more on like spirituality today, focus more on love and family today. Cause I, I think it's important that you guys don't get um bogged down maybe with comparing, comparing what you have uh, with maybe what someone else has. That's what I can see. Cause you have a lot, um, to be proud of and that's important for you guys to remember that so don't don't compare today and um maybe even avoid making any like purchases from a place of maybe trying to 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 fit in or or please someone don't worry about fitting in today although i can see that that might be on your mind Okay, that's important. It's important for you to like find, like recognize it when you start to feel that way and to try and find that balance. So at work, the 10 of wands is coming through as the energy for the day. I feel like um there's going to be a clearing of the air. If there's been any kind of tension or worry in the energy at work, I, I feel like um it's going to be cleared away. Uh, if you've had a lot of pressure on you lately, Cancer, I see you in this place where you're going to be relieved of it today. You're going to release it. You're going to put it down. You could even have someone that um, helps you, helps like take the load off of you. Um, and I just see where work from today is going to be a lot uh, more smooth because I see where you. some of you are really, really pressured and that pressure is going away today. So work looks, work looks positive. I feel like your love look, your love life looks really positive today too. The only thing that I can see is if you start to kind of feel like you're an outsider for whatever reason, spirit is showing me for you guys to not focus on, not focus, um, on materialistic things today. And if you do miss someone and you want to talk to someone, today's definitely a good day to reach out and do that. Okay, Cancer, that is what I can see coming through for you guys. I hope that you have a beautiful day. I send you all much love and light. Let's go into Taurus's energy. Okay, Taurus, let's see what is going on. What is the energy like around you guys today for Monday, March 22nd? Let's see. I can see Pisces energy coming through and Libra. Are you guys dealing with a Pisces or a Libra? You guys could be cross watching. Virgo's energy is also here. So same thing like moon or rising cross watchers. That energy is here. I, I, I can see where you guys are in this place of um, stubbornness today. I, I feel like that's what that energy is. It's, it's kind of being set, being set in your ways and maybe um, not wanting to do things uh, in a way that someone else wants you to. I don't think it comes from a malicious place. I think it comes from um, maybe feeling like you're doing you're doing what's best. I just feel like it, it might be really hard to persuade you guys today um, into doing something that you feel is not right or not appropriate. 
I, I see you holding your ground in a lot of ways. But again, I think that it stems from a, a place of good intentions where um, there's also like this energy of, of sacrificing things. So it, it's funny because I think that you feel like your way is the best way. And even though it it may be not the most comfortable thing for you to do, you're doing it because you, you feel like it's best. So you guys might be in this place of like um, giving advice to others today, but I don't think you're gonna be in the mood for like taking advice from others today. It's like it's like being being very set in your ways. So I mean I do feel like that that can border on stubborn for some of you guys. I feel like being in that energy um kind of brings out that energy in your person as well. I feel like um the two of you might really mirror each other today where they kind of may be hard to read as well. I don't see this being like a, a super like romantic and like cuddly day for you and your person, to be honest with you. I, I feel like you guys might butt heads today. You both might try to prove you're right about something. You both might um like it's a it's a challenge. And that doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to be like super negative between the two of you. Some of you like this feistiness. Some of you like when your person um challenges you and like debates with you. I, I that's the kind of energy that I see coming through for the two of you today like maybe both trying to prove that you're right about something so even though I don't see it as being like super like lovey-dovey and cuddly it depends on the dynamic of your relationship and how things go for the two of you because I mean I see a lot of like in interacting with each other um I see a lot of uh, like energy between the two of you a lot of uh, like I see um, there's there's expressiveness. There is expressiveness, but it's almost like both of you are trying to prove that you're right. Okay, so I mean, really, the energy is like the two of you might butt heads today. That's what I can see. Um, when, you know, your warning from spirit is to think about um, ways that you need to open yourself up, Taurus. Think about... Maybe letting yourself um, uh, partake more, letting yourself be more involved with what's going on around you, like the activities. It's just like a message to you about opening up and not staying in your shell too much today. Because I feel like that's going to be important. Okay, so maybe that crosses over into work for times when you need to say what it is that's on your mind, speak up for yourself, especially if you have any ideas about the way that things can go. Today's definitely not the day to be quiet, okay, especially if you have something um, that you want to say. The energy at work and for career and everything, I do see where... If, if there's been like an anxiousness, a worry about something, I see a lot of relief coming in today. So maybe some of you have had something on your mind. You're, you're waiting um, to hear about the next step when it comes to something, maybe waiting for an opportunity to open up. The energy is like, I see you feeling very relieved. Feeling very relieved and, and almost feeling like a sense of freedom. So some of you could have had someone um, around you lately, and I uh, maybe that's not normally there, like a boss over your shoulder or something like that. And and today I see where there's going to be relief. Okay, Tora. So that is what I have for you for your day for Monday. And um, the thing that Spirit wants you to keep in mind is uh, letting yourself be open. And I think that might be a challenge for you today with the kind of stubbornness that I can see and your energy. And when I say stubborn, I don't say that as an insult. I feel like you have like certain ideas. You feel like your way is the best way. Um, but there is also a need for you to 
be open okay taurus that is what i can see for you all coming through let's go into virgo's energy okay virgo let's take a look what is going on how is your day looking this is for monday the 22nd So the initials B and J are here. That might be significant to you guys. Um, you're in a powerful place today. I see where there's um like, I think you're going to feel like you're doing what's best for yourself and everyone around you. That energy of, um, I feel like you guys are going to be in touch with your spiritual side today um some of you might even do a little more praying that than you normally do today but i feel like it's all very positive um i see you being in this energy of thinking about what's really important and like wanting to protect wanting to protect i feel whether it's protecting yourself protecting your family that's what i can see so it's um a very spiritual place that you guys are gonna be in today i think thinking long term thinking about the bigger picture even thinking about life and like the purpose of things the, the meaning of things the high priestess is a very powerful energy it also lets me know that you guys may come across as like kind of reserved uh kind of reserved um and really only like fo i feel like you're just going to be focused on what's most important today you don't have time um for like any nonsense you don't have time to dilly dally and you you certainly don't have um like a desire to to be around anyone like that i just feel like you guys are going to be in maybe even like a very mature place today it's a deep energy okay so i mean i see that as being um very positive but the thing about it is um i think it's important even though you're in this place of like protecting your privacy and really not not letting people in to your i feel like you're not gonna let them into your emotions so much uh i feel like with your person you kind of have to be careful about how how much you hold back today because i see that they're in this place i feel like the two of you might they might misinterpret maybe your quiet and thoughtful energy as um maybe feeling like they need to give you space I, I feel like they might take it the wrong way and because they might take it the wrong way i feel like their guard might go up as well so maybe it's a good idea virgo that you just kind of tell them um you know what's going on with you the things that you're thinking about and how you feel but moreover just to let them know that um if you are quiet or more reserved today that it has nothing to do with them it's just you're in i feel like you're going to be in your own bubble um but there's also like so much spirituality around you guys that's what i can see that's what i can feel for you all for today um so you know, if whoever it is that you're dealing with, if you do care about them, I just feel like it's a good idea to just kind of let them know if you feel like you need space to just kind of tell them how you feel. Because if you don't, I feel like they're going to take it the wrong way and they're going to put their guard up. OK, you know, it, it, I think it's important because when it comes to the energy and your around you for your love life whoever this is that you're dealing with they make you feel very complete i see where you're you're just thinking so deeply about the bigger picture today and about life and and where you're going who you're meant to be what this is meant to be what your life is meant to look like i see where it's just so much energy of introspection and reflection today um and if you are like that, you know, let, let your person know what's on your mind. 
because I just feel like that can save things being misinterpreted and that can save them kind of um putting their guard up because I feel like they might misinterpret this and feel like um your guard is up with them when it's really not because I can see where you just feel like there's limitless possibilities between the two of you so that energy I feel like it's important to just um look out for it because if you find that um maybe you feel like your person's being weird or they're being quiet or like defensive honestly it's because they they feel like you're being that way okay so that that's energy that can be avoided all together with um better communication you know what's funny is even the community the need for communication crosses over into work and career because someone is not speaking up about what it is that they want to say and um i know it's really like uh it's eating away at them what they want to say and they're holding back but I think that it's important to speak up, not only at work, but in your love life as well. It's, some, it's someone holding back so much, and I know that they might end up re regretting it if they don't say what it is um, that's on their mind. Because it just like builds up all of this pressure underneath them that eventually is going to have to come out. Um, it can come out today in like a steady way. And if it keeps getting held back, I feel like it might just be blurted out later on. So that's important. If you are going to speak up about something, Virgo, I would say just make sure that you do it in a, in a way that's thoughtful and in a way that you uh, treat someone the way that you'd want to be treated as well. However that looks to you, because that can be different depending on uh, what how you feel. When it comes to your warning from spirit... Uh, the Page of Pentacles is coming through. That's like the energy of someone who, I feel like it's um, an imbalance somehow, like a, the, maybe the energy of being shortchanged, the energy of being chipped, and even um, the worry about uh, like what someone can actually give. So I, I think that it, it's important because what that energy speaks to me is um even though it may not be like the biggest gesture of all or like the most expensive thing or, or whatever it looks like because I, I see that energy as like what someone is trying to give to another person. Um, it's important to look at the meaning behind things today like ah. Uh, it's the thought that counts today. Okay, Virgo? And I do wonder what that looks like to you. But really, it's the thought that counts today. That's what Spirit is showing me. And that's important for you guys to keep in mind throughout the day. Because that is like something to be aware of. The thought and the intentions. And where that comes from. And that's what is the most important thing. Okay, Virgo, that is what I can see coming through for you all for Monday. Let's take a look into Capricorn's energy. All right, Capricorn, let's see what is going on for you guys. How is your day looking? This energy is for the 22nd. Let's take a look and see. Sorry about the noise, you guys. That's an ambulance that's going by outside. It's um, it's so noisy where I live, and I have the window open because it's so nice today. So I do apologize for the noise. Okay, let's let's take a look and see what is coming your way. The twenty second. There's your energy, Capricorn, as well as Libra. Are you dealing with um, another Capricorn? Are you dealing with a Libra? Because that energy is here. Or you might have that energy moon or rising. That's what I can see. Uh, there's a lot of beauty coming through. I mean, there's just an, an energy of healing. There really is. Your person is like crazy about you and you're crazy about them, even though you may try to fight it. That's what I can see. Um, And I wonder why, because I see you being in this place of 
thinking about things really logically. Maybe, maybe there's a, a hesitancy, maybe there's a fear, maybe there's things that you've gone through with them or, or just gone through in the past and it, it kind of puts you in that place of wanting to make logical decisions and love, but that's not really realistic. That's not the way that love works. And, and today I can see where you're letting your heart decide for you. And I, I just feel like there is an energy of, of resistance to that, but ultimately you're going to give into it because you can't help it. The initial M is also coming through. Your person is just in this place of, um, they really love you. They might even tell you for the first time that they love you. Um, their emotions are just overflowing and they feel so deeply for you they feel like you're an incredible person you have their heart and um their heart belongs to you and no one else that's so important for you to know because i just see where their their energy is just like overflowing with emotion their emotions are as deep as the ocean that's what i can see super super in love with you you're in this place of um trying to to break free trying to even maybe break bad habits i wonder if some of you are trying to turn over a new leaf today like if you started a, a new diet or if you're saying like okay starting monday this is what's gonna happen you know because i see this as like goal setting and goal setting with the intention of breaking bad habits or things that no longer serve you or like negativity so you're in a super super positive place today and if it, it might even be a good day for you to set your intentions and set some goals because i just see where you're aligned to do that Okay, that's important. Three of swords coming through as your warning from spirit. It is important um, that you guys release what needs to be let go of. Whatever that looks like to you, whether it's like breaking bad habits, not focusing on something that's hurt you, or maybe not focusing on like mistakes that you've made. Um, it's a day to look on the bright side. Because if you do, there's a lot of healing energy that'll come to you. Okay, uh, it, it's very important for you to release because if you align yourself with releasing today, these wounds will heal. Because that's what the energy is like ushering in for you guys, a change. Okay, at work, the Eight of Wands is coming through in reverse. I feel like um, it's the energy of unwanted attention because i just see this as someone like a lot of attention is is on it could be on you and maybe you just don't like want to deal with it you don't want it that's very interesting um but let it come to you, Capricorn. Let it come to you. If you have someone that like uh, wants to help you out or, or do something nice for you, I feel like the, the energy is full of positive intentions today. So don't automatically put your guard up. Don't automatically shy away from the spotlight if you're in it today. That is what I can see because it, it, it'll actually bring a lot of positivity and, and a lot of positivity and even healing energy to you. All right. Um, I think it's a good idea to let yourself get in, get involved. Okay, Capricorn, that is what I can see coming through for you all for Monday the 22nd. I hope that you guys have a beautiful day. I send you all much love and light. Let's go into Libra's energy. Okay, Libra, let's see what is going on for you guys. What is your day looking like? What is the energy like for Monday? Let's see.
very interesting energy is coming through. Why is there such a, a uh, like a contrast? This is like opposites between you and your person. Why do you feel like um, you question their intentions towards you? Because that's what I can see. Or maybe some of you just feel like this person is pushing you for more. I wonder if you feel like they're pressuring you. And maybe you're not like ready for the kind of things that they are. That's for some of you. But then for others of you, I feel like you... You kind of just question things when it comes to them. You question their offer. You even question their sincerity. And and when I look into how they feel for you, what they're saying to you is real and it's true. If if they've said to you lately and you guys have had like serious conversations, um, maybe it even feels like, wow, how do you feel all of this already? Because they're thinking about the future. This is a person who's thinking about starting the next chapter in their life, thinking about um, settling down. That's for some of them. Uh, cause there's just all of this, these thoughts of family and the future and like creating stability. That is what they want. That's their intentions. And I wonder if, um, you're just having a hard time believing it or trusting it for whatever reason. Spirit is showing me that it's important for you guys to, um, make sure that you're not hardened today it's important that you open yourself up to the possibilities around you it's important that you open up your heart today as well because you don't want to be in this place of like a, a stubbornness that stems from trying to protect yourself because this is the need for you to be open that's that's what spirit shows me that's like your warning um that you have to open yourself up you have to even look at yourself today especially you know and what i mean by that is like self-reflection that introspection that's super important for you guys today you know what's funny is um you're in this page of swords energy funny to see these two pages coming through around both of your energies like um, what I mean by that is your overall energy for the day and your energy when it comes to love. The Page of Swords is almost like, um, I, I feel like there's like a lack of, of trust somehow. And even like you don't want to look at yourself, you don't want to... But the thing about being in that energy, Libra... I know that maybe looking back, maybe you'll feel like you don't want to look at maybe mistakes that you've made. But I also know that it is super important to let your heart be open and kind of face things today. If you're wondering about this person's intentions towards you, they want to create something very beautiful with you. Okay? Some of you could have could even already have a like a family or like um put down roots with them already and if if you are questioning things the way that i can see they're super happy um they feel like it can't get any better and yet there's there's um such a bright future ahead so they're in you guys are like in opposite places today and I really think it stems from you just needing to let yourself be a little more open, even if it feels like you're being vulnerable. That's going to be really important. And also make sure that you get a good night's sleep tonight. That's what spirit shows you. Make sure that you're getting enough rest. When it comes to the energy at work and career, I can see where there is... um maybe a delay maybe things are taking longer than you would like them to that's for those of you that are like you've planted these certain seeds so to speak and like you're waiting for something to come of it um maybe you've pitched something or like made a move somewhere and you're waiting to hear back i feel like they're the wait might be a little bit longer than anticipated Okay, and, and for others of you, it could just be like some kind of recognition that you want to receive. Maybe you just, um, 
Some of you might get caught up in this energy today where you feel like, you know, I'm putting in so much and yet I'm not getting back everything that I feel I'm putting in. So I see where work may not be the most satisfying thing today for you guys. Um, but just know like the seeds that you've planted, they're, they're gonna bud soon enough. I just feel like patience is gonna be the key at work today okay libra that is what i can see coming through for you guys today i hope that you have a beautiful day i send you all much love and light let's go into gemini's energy okay gemini let's take a look at your day what is going on what are your messages from spirit So that's funny. Um, this five of cups is flying over. I wonder if any of you guys are caught up in this energy of maybe like have recently separated from someone because there's or maybe you walked away or maybe you had someone walk away from you. There's a lot of reflecting that's going on about mistakes that were made. That's what I can see. So I do wonder which side of that you're on. Are you the one who walked away? If so, I can see where your person's really thinking about what's gone wrong. Or you might be in that place. That's an energy that's flying out. Let's see. Sagittarius and Virgo energy is here, Gemini. I wonder if you're dealing with one of those or you guys could be cross watching or you could have that energy moon or rising. Your love life, your energy when it comes to love really pops out because I see where you guys have stopped believing in something. Um, I can see where you're just kind of in this energy of pessimism that's for some of you especially if, if you can relate to the energy that spirit already showed with like, like like a breakup that i saw i just see in love that you that might not be the bright spot of your day and you guys could just be in a place where you feel like you're not really sure about what's going to happen next um you're not really sure about what kind of energy is coming to you that's what I can see. There's like a, an uncertainty in your love life. And, and even um, those uncertainties are not leaning towards positivity. It's leaning more towards, um, you know, feeling like you may not have what you want. That's what I can see. So I do see where some of you have had a challenge lately in your love life. This person, though, that you're dealing with, they're coming through as... um the hermit um someone that's maybe even if if they've been keeping to themselves or if there's been space or distance or if you guys broke up the way that i can see i feel like today they might be ready to talk um because it's like uh someone who's not in their shell anymore they're not in their cocoon they've come out of it so it might be if you feel like you want to reach out to them i feel like they'll be receptive to that you know you'll have to do what's best for you depending on which side of the energy you're on um but i can see someone who does it will be open to communication and talking nonetheless that's the energy that's here okay at work i i feel like it's going to be a very clear and focused day for you guys i feel like there's not going to be um anything that stands in your way i feel like the goals that you set out to accomplish you will um work might even be a real relief for you because i feel like you'll be able to think there and also get peace of mind there and then I think it's going to make you feel good with the way that everything just goes so smoothly. So work looks very positive, even if you are not in the most positive mood, um, like in your heart. I feel like work is going to bring a relief to you. Leo's energy is also here, you guys. You might be cross watchers. You could be dealing with a Leo or you could have that energy moon or rising Gemini. Um, Your overall energy is... um like your vibe 
I think it's reflective today. I think it's um, calm, even though for your love life, there's the energy of pessimism. I feel like overall, it's not going to get the best of you. I feel like you're going to be in this place where you're just kind of analyzing and you're just kind of sitting back. And in this energy of acceptance, like whatever will be, will be. It's an it's an important day for you guys to try and find to try to find some kind of relaxation. I don't know if you literally can like go sit by the water or something like that today. Um, but I feel like that might be really good for you if you do. It's important that you let your kind of let your mind wander to a more peaceful and meditative state. I think that's going to be helpful for you. I don't think you're going to really be in the energy of um, making yourself vulnerable today, though. Even though I can see this person is open to talking, I think that you're in this place of like um, saying, okay, universe, if it's meant for me, then it'll come to me. So there's a lot of peace that's there. Um, there's a lot of energy of acceptance that's there. The Knight of Wands coming through. I think it's really important that um, you guys still keep a focus on the things that you like to do and what what like lights a fire within you. What brings you back to that like um, whatever it is that makes you feel like energetic or like this is like a zest. Okay, you don't want to, you don't want to slip down to this place today where you just feel um, like those thoughts that in love, you may not get what you want. Don't let that slip over into every corner of your life. I think that it's very important that you take the messages from spirit about, um, letting yourself go to a more meditative state and if you don't know how to do that then do something that you feel is fun do something that like brings laughter or joy into your life today okay that's going to be really important for you guys that's what i can see and also it's important that you don't let your pride get the best of you. And I don't mean dignity. I mean pride. If there's something that's um like an urge within you that you feel, something you want to speak up about, something that you want to say, I think it's important that you listen to that and not let too many uh like negative thoughts or pride stop you from doing what you feel is best so so don't let pride make decisions for you today okay gemini that is what spirit is showing me that's what you guys have coming in for monday i do send you all much love and light i hope that you have a beautiful day let's go into aquarius's energy okay aquarius let's take a look what are your messages from spirit how is your day looking let's take a look and see Aquarius, I think that um, you might be being too hard on yourself today. I say that because when I look at your energy to see you in the Five of Cups, um, I think that some of you might feel kind of down um, throughout the day. And you know why? It's I think you're being too hard on yourself because I see where you're in this energy of thinking about what's gone wrong. And I just feel like it's important for you to look on the bright side of things today because because if you feel down or sad about something, don't look at the past. Look in the present, because I know some of you might be missing something that's like right under your nose or maybe someone that really has your back and you don't see it. So it's very important that you... um. Try not to stay too long in that energy. 
of like the past. That's the thing. Work yourself out of it by focusing on what you have now. Okay, that's really important. I feel like you guys just want direction when it comes to your love life today. There's a lot of thinking going on. I see you guys, you guys are in an emotional place um, because it's the reflection. It's the thinking. It's the thinking about the past. It's the thinking about um, what, like what's going to come of this. I see that energy here. I feel like your love life and your energy, it goes hand in hand because what, where I see you wanting so much direction like that, if you feel like you're not getting it, I can see where that can be something that brings you down. It's a good day to talk to your person. It is. Um, because I just see where they're going to listen. And I feel like they might even show you a different side to them, even more like a, a humble side. Someone who is, is certainly not going to let their pride or ego get the best of them. I just feel like you guys, you guys want to know maybe where you stand with someone today. You want to know where this is going. You want to know, um, like, should, should you hold on? Which direction should you go in? So I see you thinking about all of that and maybe even deciding like, you know what? I think we need to talk today about some things. That is what I can see. So don't be too hard on yourself. Just remember that you are writing your own love story here. See, that's why the Wheel of Fortune's coming in because it's about the divine timing of things. And I know where some of you feel like maybe you've had to bend more than you usually would, or maybe you feel like some things just bring you outside of your comfort zone today. That's why I feel like it's super important that you are not too hard on yourselves and you kind of learn how to go with the flow. See, that's for some of you in your love life as well, but it really is like your warning today from spirit. I, I feel like you might have to do something that makes you uncomfortable. And the more that you go with the flow, the better off you'll be. Okay, that's important. And when I say uncomfortable, you know, I don't I don't mean that it's something like bad or negative. I just feel like um you might be wound up really tight and I feel like that that might be a test for you today to kind of to, to kind of have to go with the flow. So, even though you're in this state of thinking about things and and Focus on the right thing, Aquarius, okay? Focus on what you have in your life now that's a blessing. Don't spend too much time focusing on what you feel has gone wrong, okay? I feel like work is going to be something that brings a lot of like joy to you guys today. Um, there's a lot of energy here of prospects coming in. Uh, positivity and work is definitely coming to you guys. So um, whether that's you deal with clients, um, it's like whoever walks through the door, I feel like their energy is going to be positive. Um, I feel like people are going to be easy for you to deal with today, um, depending on what you do. Like customers will will like be in a happy mood. I feel like things are going to flow really smoothly. And I feel like work is going to actually be something that brings a lot of optimism to you. So maybe you're going to do your reflecting at work today and thinking and um, letting your mind go to another place because this is like joy coming to you. Some of you, it's like um, something that you've been waiting for, like literally, like some kind of delivery that's coming to you today as well. And for others of you, it's just like um, I've, I see prospects. I see opportunities opening up. I see uh, so much positivity around you at work today. I feel like that might be the place that um, this this energy helps to cheer you up because you see it's it's so different. Maybe you start out your day feeling down um, not in the best mood, but I think you're going to end your day in a positive place. Okay, Aquarius, that is what I can see coming through for you guys. And if there is something that you need to talk to with your person today, I feel like it's the day to do it because their, their, their guard is down. They're, 
pride is to the side um their ego is not in the way this is a person that's going to be very receptive today okay aquarius that is what i can see coming through for you all for monday the 22nd let's go into the fire signs now okay we'll start with sagittarius's energy So I can see Libra's energy here, you guys. Are you dealing with a Libra? Do you have that energy moon or rising? Or are you guys cross-watching? This, this is really sticking out to me because that's work and career. There's this energy of someone who, I wonder if someone's going to lose their temper. I just see that as someone who feels like they're fighting for what they believe in almost. So it's kind of like a righteous energy. But at the same time, is that really appropriate for work? I think it's um if there's something that you feel you want to fight for make sure that you do it in a way that's like professional make maintain your professionalism today that's going to be super important because i can just see where someone might let their temper get the best of them although they're fighting for what they believe and maybe they're standing up for themselves about something you could be in that energy or you just might see that that happens around you today Sagittarius. So I, I do see where someone might be quick to anger and they they may say something that they can't take back. So if you know that maybe there's been tension, something going on with you at work, uh, there is a lot of potential for someone to lose their temper. But I feel like it's important to focus on the bigger picture and that is your success. And um I, cause I, I feel for this person cause I know where their intentions come from. They, they're fighting for what they feel they deserve. They're fighting for what they believe in, although they run the risk of going about it the wrong way. So I would say to definitely make sure that you think before you speak. Um, and if you do know that something is like bugging you, really irking you, really try to keep a hold on your temper today. Cause that, I just feel like, um, that's not, it can go inappropriate really fast. But then on the other hand, I feel for them cause I understand where they're coming from. They're fighting for what they feel like they deserve. But it has to be done the right way. Okay, Sagittarius, I do wonder like what that means to you. And if um you are in that energy or you just feel like that's um there's tension around you today at work, that is what I can see. I think that you guys are in this place today of looking around taking a good look at yourself, taking a good look at your life, and maybe even wanting to go in another direction. I see this energy as very positive because I see you being very real with yourself, very honest with yourself. And I can see where there is an opportunity that's getting ready to open up, another path that's getting ready to open up. Maybe you know that it already has and you're at a crossroads and you're thinking about where am I supposed to go? What am I supposed to do? So I see where you guys are in this place of um, just thinking about the bigger picture today, thinking about what's really important, thinking about your life. There's a lot of energy for opportunity around you guys. Funny to see that this six of wands and leo's energies here six of wands is coming through as your warning see i feel like that has to do with this energy at work and um i know you want to win but at what cost it's gonna have to be done the right way don't win just for the sake of winning and then you sacrifice something else like your reputation uh so if 
if someone's trying to argue with you today at work, even if it's outside of work, I feel like it's super important to pick your battles and not just keep your mind so focused on like, I'm going to get the last word. I'm going to have the final say because that is just that's not. And then to see the pride underneath it all, that's going to be really important. I wonder. Sorry about that noise, you guys. I wonder at work if someone's going to try and test you. Keep your cool. That is what I can see. Or even overall, if you feel like someone tries to test you today, keep your cool with them. Don't let your pride get the best of you and don't worry about like that you need to win because you don't have anything to prove to this person. Or even like just the energy of it all. You don't have anything to prove. Okay, the dynamic between you and someone that you're dealing with is very off because they're in this energy of... If you want to know their intentions towards you and how they feel, they feel like they're so happy here. They feel like a path, like the path goes straight to you and that's where they want to go. That's where they're heading. They feel um, like a, a, a door to a lot of blessings has opened up for them when it comes to you. So they feel incredibly happy. They feel blessed. They feel like there's even potential for the future, wishes to come true. That's why there's that 1111 energy, like the path straight to you. But when I look at how you're feeling, justice is in reverse. So maybe you feel like... um Maybe they're not doing a good job of expressing this to you, showing you how they feel, because you feel like something is off between you and them. You feel like something's not fair about this connection. So I feel like there's definitely something that's a miscommunication that's here because they're so happy but yet you feel like something's very unfair and off. So I feel like that's definitely the energy of a miscommunication um, and something that you guys should talk about. That's important. It's important to know their intentions and, and what they see out of all of this. Because maybe you're just, I see you thinking deeply and these thoughts could also be about your relationship as well. So if there is something that you feel is off between you and them, I think it's important to talk about it. But also remember to not focus so much on like winning or having the final say or like letting your pride get the best of you today. Okay, Sagittarius, that is what I can see for you guys. I hope that you have a beautiful day. I send you all much love and light. Let's go into Aries energy. All right, Aries, let's take a look. What is going on for you guys? This reading is from Monday the 22nd. Let's see. What are your messages from Spirit? If you guys could hear that alarm outside, it's an ambulance. I'm, I do apologize for that. It's so noisy where I live, so you might hear noise from time to time. I can see Gemini's energy coming through, as well as the initial M. Is that important to you? Big, big message here about uh, the need to be vulnerable today. I know that they, that may not be something that you feel comfortable doing but the fool's coming in reverse that and that's your warning from spirit it's time for you to take a chance on something whether it's a, like your heart work a relationship i can see that um don't get in your own way and you know don't feel like something's over before it's even begun because your warning today is uh take take chances don't don't be in this energy of um hesitancy you know there's a lot that you want to open up and express that you're holding back 
that's what I can see. Today's the day to go for it. Today is the day to go for it. I wonder what that means to you, Aries. There's something that fills you with so much joy, that fills you with so much love, yet there's this part of you that won't let it all out. And I think that it's super important that you do. There's something that you're um, waiting to like pour your heart into. Today's the day to go for it. That's what I can see. You guys are full of love. You're full of energy. You're full of light. You're full of positivity. Let the world see you shine. That's a beautiful message. Um, you have someone who's, who's waiting, waiting for you. When I look at the energy of your person, if you are dealing with someone, uh, they're, they're very invested. That's what's important for you to know. And they want to see this blossom. I know they're in a place right now where they feel like uh, you're holding back. They feel like they've put in. This person is truly invested with you. Um, they're, they're here. They're stuck with you. If you're wondering like about the stability, this is someone who's like, I've put in so much here. Um, this, this belongs to me. This is, this is us. That's how they look at it. But then on, on the other hand, they feel like, um, when am I going to get everything back? When are you going to open up to me? That's what they want. You have someone who, who longs for you to open up to them in a lot of ways. I see that that might actually happen today because you're in this place. I don't know what's been going on with the two of you. I just know that lately, for some of you, you've, you haven't let them get close to you. Could be literally for some of you. Um, but I know that that's not the easiest energy to maintain. It's a very difficult energy to maintain. You know, having your guard up like this, feeling the need to protect yourself, being real set where you are. And I can just see today that you just might decide, you know what? I I'll just feel so much better if I release this, if I just drop this. I see, um, you looking at yourself in a way that you haven't today. And when you look at yourself, you're going to put your guard down. I feel I feel like you're going to open up. So today is the day to do that. That's what spirit shows me. Even if it, if it feels scary, today's the day to take a chance. Okay, Aries, um your work and career, the lovers are coming through in reverse. I just feel like there may be um Something that goes on today that things are not as smooth as they usually are. Things may not be as harmonious as it usually is at work. Um, I feel like there's this energy, maybe even of someone that you're close to, feeling just like a disconnect. Um, so maybe someone's in the energy where they need space. If they are, just let them have that today. That That's what I will see. Because overall, you, you guys are very blessed where you are at work. And I just see where, like, there's a disconnect. Um, so just things may not function as they normally do. You might find that um, maybe something breaks down today or... Um, I just feel like there's going to be challenges thrown in that that kind of create obstacles. You guys might have to go around obstacles today at work. I don't think that it's going to be something that's like um super draining, but I just feel like you might have like these small little glitches that happen throughout the day. Even if it's like with someone's energy and things are just like off between you and them. Okay, that is what I can see. Um today is your day to go for it. Okay, Aries, whatever that looks like to you. That is what spirit shows me. That is the energy for you guys for Monday. I send you all much love and light. Let's go into last but not least, Leo's energy. Okay, Leo, let's take a look and see how is Leo's day looking. This is for Monday, the 22nd of March. Let's take a look.
Ah, so hmm, that's your, this is funny. Um, the initial M is coming through. That might be important to some of you. Your love life sticks out to me a lot today, Leo. I feel like you're in this place of kind of, um, you're looking around. I feel like you, you may not be in the present the way that you should. Uh, cause for some of you, you're in this energy of being suspicious about something. You're in this energy of like reading into things. Some of you might even be snooping when it comes to your person. And others of you, especially if you are single, I see where you're in this energy of just kind of like wanting to maybe thinking about the past and maybe even just like I see a wandering eye for some of you. And hopefully that's for those of you that are single because it's just like looking, looking around. Maybe looking at your options, thinking about things. I think that it's really important that you watch your emotions today leo and how your emotions might get the best of you i just feel like there's kind of like this warning to you from spirit um about like not making the most logical choices today but but making emotional choices there's a big need uh to to avoid impulsiveness today that's what I can see, whether it's like whatever that looks like to you, because I feel like some of this might be maybe what you feel for someone. And I just feel like um, maybe some of you might even hear from someone in the past and I feel someone from the past, I should say. And I feel like there's this energy of like things running away with you, your emotions running away with you and just like taking a chance and going all in, like not even looking, but just leaping. And that's your warning from spirit. That's something that you should avoid. I feel like it's something that you should avoid. So don't be impulsive today, Leo, and really try to keep your emotions balanced. I know that might not be the easiest thing, but you don't want to make decisions just based purely on how you feel. It should There should be logic involved as well. Okay, that's important. You're in this place today of... um. Like you, you, you either need to pay up or, or, or go that that's the energy of like, um, just wanting to collect on what you've invested in. I, I see where you're like out of patience, out of patience when it comes to something. I wonder if that's like crossing over into your love life with someone. I feel like you might even be in this energy of like ultimatums today. It might not be outright said, but in your energy, you might create them. Like if I don't hear from this person today, or if they don't do this and that today, then I'm, I'm, I'm out of here. I'm out of running out of patience. So I do wonder if that's why spirit is telling you to watch your emotions today as well and don't do things that are impulsive or hasty because I do see where you guys are in this place of thinking about um where you've made investments and if you're not seeing those investments return to you I feel like you're gonna be in that energy of maybe cutting things out or leaving certain things behind but then it makes me wonder why is there a message to you to watch your emotions and not do something impulsive today okay that is what i can see when it comes to uh work and career this little page of pentacles is coming through i i think that you guys might slip into this place where you feel like you deserve more maybe you feel like um you're being shortchanged or like maybe you're being gypped out of something but you know the energy that's around you guys is right right now everything's on the right track even if it seems like um it seems small or insignificant to you now i know that everything is falling into place and it leads to a bigger picture so i think it's important that you do focus on the bigger picture today leo especially at work like because where there's this energy of like what you've invested in you want the return right now but i can see where everything is falling into place it just goes step by step by step 
Okay, Leo, that is what I can see for the energy coming through for you guys today. Um, When it comes to your person, I almost forgot to mention um, where they are. Whoever this is that you are dealing with. um, See, I feel like they're wearing their heart on their sleeve when it comes to you. So it, for, for whatever reason, some of you are in this place where like you said that, but I think it really means this. Oh, I'm going to read between those lines. I'm going to get to the bottom of it because I feel like there's almost a suspicion that some of you have when it comes to this person. This person is like really putting everything out there. Like this queen of pentacles that shows me their heart. And I feel like this person wears their heart on their sleeve. I feel like um, they adore you they're very they want to like just nurture you they want to take care of you this person is it is in a very like loving space with you so i wonder why you're suspicious of them i wonder why there's this element of not fully trusting what they say but let me tell you this person looks at you as someone that's like adorable and very precious to them and what they've said to you, I feel like their heart is out there. Even if for some reason there's a disconnect between the two of you and you feel like they're holding something back, I have to let you know that they're not. This person, um, they really do like have their heart just wide open and like they're presenting it to you. So that's important for you to know, Leo. You know, you'll take from that what you will. Um, I just think it's very important that you keep your emotions in check today. Okay, Leo, and don't make any hasty decisions about things. All right, that is what I can see coming through for you all today for the 22nd Monday. I really do hope that you guys have a beautiful day. I send you all much love and light. Thank you so much for being here with me, Leo. Have a beautiful day, and I will see you guys tomorrow.